Hey everyone, I'm Ted McDonald, and we are here in the Belize jungle, exploring all kinds of Belizean things. And we're going to do today a little yoga sequence that has to do with twisting, which is going to help digestion. So it's also going to aliven your spine. I had a little stomach thing this morning in the Belize jungle, and I just need to kind of get things moving a little bit. So we're going to start with our basic warm-up, some sun salutations. Go ahead and bring your feet together, bring your, spread your toes, bring your palms together, close your eyes, take a moment, set your intention. We are in the land of the Mayas, so just take a moment and set your intention and tap into wherever you are in the moment. Open your eyes when you're ready, take a nice big inhale, lifting your arms way up, folding all the way forward down as you exhale. Lengthening your spine as you inhale, stepping back the first time as you exhale. Take a nice big inhale here and hold your plank pose, top of a push-up, engage your abdomen, your thighs, breathing deep. And then just take one more nice big inhale and lower all the way to the mat the first time. And an easy back bend so shoulders are down the spine, lifting your heart up and just an easy back bend. Starting to kind of feel the body a bit and breathing and warming up slightly. Right back to child's pose for a moment. We have some sun here in the Belizean jungle. We haven't had sun the last few days, just little moments. Bend your left leg, press your right heel down, downward facing dog. Allow the back of the leg to soften, to stretch. It's kind of nice in our tropical climate. But if you don't have a tropical climate, just enjoy where you are. Switch legs from there. Same thing, just a preliminary nice stretch in the back of the legs, releasing some tenderness, some tightness, some stiffness. Straightening both legs from there, we're going to come up on the toes, look forward, walk the first time to the hands. When you get there, extend your spine, look forward as you inhale, fold down as you exhale, drop your head. All the way up, nice big, big inhale. Hands together at the heart as you exhale. So we're going to do a few of those, sun salutations, arms up, big, big inhale, folding forward down as you exhale. Lengthen the spine as you inhale. Step back or hop back as you exhale. Rolling over the toes, easy inhale, and then downward facing dog as you exhale. Just a few breaths here, extending the spine. And again on the toes, walk or hop. Lengthen your spine as you inhale. Fold down as you exhale. All the way up as you inhale, nice big breath. Hands together at the heart, exhale. So let's do just one more. Inhale, big breath. Folding forward, down, exhale. Lengthening that spine as you inhale. Stepping or hopping back as you exhale. Inhaling up easy again, softening the body. And then right back. To downward facing dog, breathe. And then again, on the toes, walk or lightly hop forward. Extending that spine as you inhale. Folding as you exhale. All the way up as you inhale, one nice big breath. Hands together at the heart, exhale. So we're going to move on. Before we go into our second sun salutation, we're going to go into a little chair pose twist. So our first twist, starting in chair, a few breaths. Just toes spread. Extend the arms, slight engage in the belly. Right away, bring the palms together. Bring your left elbow outside your right knee. Make sure your feet stay together, your knees stay together. Hips are square to the front of your mat. Lengthen the upper body, lengthen the spine, and then a gentle... 
turn. Our first one here, breathing. So as I feel out in the spine, if you lean back just slightly, you're going to feel it more in the upper spine. Keep breathing. A little twist. One more nice big breath. And then back to the center. Nice big inhale. And switch sides as you exhale. Palms together. Look. Lengthen the upper body. And turn. And again, feeling the twist, you're kind of wringing out some of the toxins and wringing out some of that congestion and that tightness. And two more breaths. Back to the center, big inhale. And then we'll fold right away as you exhale. Halfway up as you inhale. Step back or hop back. Vinyasa. Easy in the spine. And downward facing dog. Take the right leg up right away. Nice big inhale. Bring it all the way forward to your hands as you exhale. Warrior one. Big breath. Reach up. And then hands to the floor. Leg back, lower. Possible that's all one exhale. Inhaling, reaching up. Exhale. Down dog, left side, taking the leg up. Bring it forward. Big breath, warrior one. Hands down, leg back, lower. Inhale. Soften, exhale, downward facing dog, hold and breathe. Fingers spread, palms flat, shoulders extend, breath smooth. Good. Again on the toes, walk or hop forward. Extending your spine as you inhale, folding as you exhale. Chair pose again, inhale, standing up, hands together, the heart, exhale, nice big full breath. So we're going to do one more sun salutation and then move into some twisting. Back to chair pose when you're ready, inhale, folding as you exhale, lengthen that spine as you inhale, step or hop back as you exhale. Inhale, reaching up, shoulders pull back, exhale. Downward facing dog, right leg first, take it up behind you, bring it all the way forward to the hands. Warrior one, big breath, reach up. And hands down. Leg back, vinyasa. Inhale. Exhale, left side, take it up, bring it forward. Warrior one, reaching. Hands down. Good. Inhale. Opening up. Exhale. Downward facing dog. Hmm. Good. And to complete... The sun salutation, come up on the toes, walk or hop. Lengthen the spine as you inhale. Fold as you exhale. Chair pose, inhale. Standing up, hands together, exhale. Good, so we're gonna, in a short little twisting sequence, we're gonna do three different twists. Just to kinda, again, squeeze out some of the toxins now that we're warmer and the body's a little bit looser, we can take it deeper. So we're gonna go back into our chair twist like we started. Inhale to chair, bring the palms together, hook the elbow across the knee. Lengthen the upper body, twist first, lean back, breathe. Good, now you're gonna look down, lean to the right foot, we're gonna add a little balance. Pose here, lifting the back leg up and slowly stepping back. When you step back, you might want to walk your right foot slightly to the right so that you feel stable and balanced. Prayer twist, lengthen the upper body, turn. If you need to drop the back knee, if balance is really tricky, definitely drop the back knee.
but lengthen and lean back almost so you can turn up and breathe. Each inhale, you're extending, and each exhale, you're twisting. If you're more comfortable and a little bit more flexible, you can bring the opposite hand down and the arm up. You can also wrap the arms completely. I would look up, but I might fall down because I have a big sun in front of me there. Release from there, come back up to crescent pose, a big inhale. And then we're gonna step forward. Exhale, take a nice big full breath. And then move into chair and to the opposite side. Palms together, hooking the opposite elbow across. Lengthen the upper body, twist. And breathe. And then when you're ready, look down. If possible, balancing on that left leg, slowly stepping that right leg all the way back. Finding the balance if you need to, moving your right foot out to the side, lengthening up, twisting. And again, possibly drop the back knee down. If you want to take it deeper, you can reach your hand to the floor. The idea, the hand to the floor to take a deeper twist is to keep it outside the knee. From here, arm up. And the possible full bind. Good, then release, and we'll come back up to crescent, and stepping forward, palms together. Excellent, so really wringing out some of the twists. We got one more standing sequence to go. Chair pose when you're ready, folding forward from there, lengthening the spine as you inhale, stepping or hopping back as you exhale. Vinyasa, cleaning the slate. Inhaling, exhaling. Right leg first, take it up behind you, and bring it forward. Warrior one, back foot turns flat. Inhale, straighten your front leg, bring your hands to the waist, step the back foot closer, angle it so you're stable and grounded. Right hand to the back, tailbone lift, the left arm up, reach out, forward, and come down. So you're less flexible, you're gonna come down to your shin, some of you to the ankle, some of you will come all the way down to the outside of the foot. From here, lengthen that upper body, and then twist up. And again, I'm gonna have to keep my eyes closed because of the big bright sun. But lengthen and twist and breathe. And hopefully I don't fall into the pool. <laughs> but lengthen and twist. Heart away from the belly if you can, and pull that right hip back as you twist. Two more big breaths. And then release. Great. Hang forward. You can get a nice big hamstring stretch there just for a breath or two. And then we're going to switch sides, taking the leg back. We can clean the slate through a vinyasa. Inhale, exhale, left side, bring the leg up behind you, all the way forward, warrior one, nice big breath, straightening the front leg, hands to the waist, back foot forward, from here, left hand on the tailbone, right arm up, extend up and out, and again from here, wherever your body naturally falls is perfect, so... Some of you will go to the shin, ankle, inside of the foot. If you have a block, feel free to use it, or outside of the foot. Lengthening that upper body and twisting and turning. Once you feel stable and comfortable, left arm goes up. And lean back and optimize that twist. Breathe. Be 
Each inhale, a little extension. Each exhale, a deeper twist. One more, big inhale. And exhale. Good, both hands to the floor. And again, just take a moment there. Allow the blood to move through the spine to aliven the body. And to release some tension there in your hamstring. And we'll take the leg back. Vinyasa lowering. Easy inhale, lifting up. Exhaling back to downward facing dog. Good, and right away from here to close. Come up on the toes. Walk or hop forward. Sit down right away. And go ahead and lie back. Pull your knees in. Give them a good squeeze. Make some circles on the lower back. So again, just kind of a short sequence, a little twisting sequence, great warm up, and then a little twist to kind of break open some of the congestion in the spine and ultimately to move some of the digestive organs a bit. We're going to do a final twist and then our rest. So pull your right knee and give it a good squeeze, straighten the left leg and roll all the way over to your Left side, right arm back, four. And the idea is always to make it feel good, right? So there's no, no reason to hurt yourself. You wanna, in fact, it should never, ever, ever feel pain in the yoga practice. Good, and then we switch sides, so same thing. Other side, pulling the opposite leg in, giving it a good squeeze. And rolling over and twisting. Good. And then back to the center and take our little rest. Shavasana, set it up here. Always good to take at least a few minutes here in Shavasana. Feet flop open, palms up, eyes closed. Take a nice big breath. And totally, totally relax. Just allow your body and all its subtle processes to take effect and move the energy around and Begin to rebuild, rejuvenate, release whatever needs to go. And again, you can stay there as long as you like in Shavasana. But this has been your warm-up and twist sequence here in the Belize jungle. I'm Ted McDonald. Thank you very much for joining me. Namaste.